Okay, in this demonstration, we're going to look at how to interrogate a model so that we can get a count of a particular entity type. What we need to do first is color all the features that we want to be able to interrogate. This is going to be the most labor-intensive part of your setup, but if the designers will adopt this approach when they're designing the part, then it won't be such a big deal downstream. What we're going to do is just pre-select all of the holes that we want to be able to count make sure that I'm getting the cylindrical hole surfaces here and as I just pick through these uh, either using a control select or window select or whatever technique works for you then we just pick on the appearances icon and make sure we select the faces we're just coloring the faces now it'd be a good idea to standardize on a color scheme uh, I'm gonna choose just a standard yellow so now all my holes are colored yellow Next, we will turn on the SOLIDWORKS Utilities add-in. Tools, Add-ins, SOLIDWORKS Utilities. This is a module that's only available in SOLIDWORKS Professional and higher. With the Utilities add-in enabled, I can do a number of things like comparing documents, uh, detailed geometry analysis, but the, the command that we want is the one called Power Select. With Power Select enabled, we can say, well, what do we want to select or what do we want to find? Well, we want to find faces, and we want those faces to be based on a particular color. Now, you can either choose a color out of the palette, or you can just pick a face that matches the color that you want to find. That's a handy, uh, handy choice. So once we've selected that color, we hit Search, and it comes through and selects the items as well as giving us a listing and a total count so it shows that there are 30 entities that match our search criteria now you can get much more sophisticated with your search criteria but this is just a simple demonstration to show how this might work uh, in a particular application